Love it. Scott Cooked. Krieger, he loves that Fond du Lac connection. Hey, you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta like that. You know, all of our yeah. Fond du Lac connections have been good so far. At least half the people I know came from there, I kind of think, are okay. Yeah, there you go. And Matt's standing here. Yeah. <laughs> you know where he's a little bit. But this is his last broadcast, so that's okay. Uh, coach, yeah. uh, well, first of all, nice win. Um, Elmhurst is a pesky team. They weren't big. Like last year, they had the great big man. This year, a totally different team. Uh, but they were pesky. They, they just kept coming after you. Yeah, I give them a lot of credit. They, their kids play hard with great pride and heart, and they fought all the way, and they avoided us separating. They, they weren't going to let us get up from, you know, 8 to 10 and let it get to, you know, 16, 18, 20. And so, um, you know, they, they threw in some tough shots. And they, yeah, they did. They, uh, they uh, got some hustle plays and just played real scrappy in the second half. So, um, but I'm glad to get out of here with a victory and uh, excited about us getting better. We defensively were not so good in the second half. They scored on way too many possessions. And we know where we're at. We know what kind of team we can be, and we're excited to just keep getting better. Talk a little bit about the turnover situation. I, I don't know if it was something that you guys are, are concerned about right now, if a few too many turnovers for normal point yeah. of basketball. Yeah, there's no question. You know, that, you know, we thought we were on the verge of playing pretty well in the second half, but then and we were excited to come out and play because we finished the first half pretty well, but then four straight turnovers, you know, two travels, and then we got picked twice, and you start out four straight possessions in the second half with turnovers, and that's never happened here. I don't think ever. I mean, to start a half or start a game. So there's just things like that that we we have to be committed together as a team that we're going we're gonna to fix some of those issues and clean that up. We still learning each other and... and, and from a coaching standpoint, as far as the, the team play and, and where you're at, where you hope to be at in December, we've got some games under our belt now. Well, where, what's your assessment, positives and things that we need to get better We, we are at? definitely a work in progress. We're still learning. Um, we're excited about our, our team and our players. We've got a lot of different components that can make an outstanding team here. And so, uh, but there's, there's a, a you know, there's a learning curve here that we just are going through, and it's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just keep watching more tape and learn from our mistakes and just keep getting better. So, on the positive side, the bench continues to perform well when you call on them, at least in certain spots, and they they come in and kind of rescue you for short periods of time and and keep things going. Right, we're really thrilled with the lift we're getting off the bench from Jarrell right now. Uh, Jarrell Harris and then certainly also from Dan Tillema. Dan's been so strong off the bench so you know we get a lift and we play at a higher level which is outstanding that's what those guys are capable of doing. Also coach just to get away from well, when it's basketball but parent day today talk a little bit yeah, about what our you know, parents mean to you know, us. And I'm going to turn it over to Matt here because he's a lot better interview than I am and uh, but I know you know to a senior like Matt Moses you know we talk so much about you know, this, uh, the experience of playing college basketball and having your family be a part of it is what makes it so meaningful. And that's why we've been able to keep outstanding players like a Matt Moses here in the state and close to home because his family can be here, you know, weeknight, weekend, and, you know, not only mom and dad, but sister and grandparents. And that's what really makes it special. So it was a, a good parent night. Um, and uh, we're really thankful for the sacrifice that our parents make for our guys. So with that, let's turn it over Thanks to Matty. Um, you know, going to have a great senior year. And uh, I'm glad he got his back injury out of the way early in the season. We don't have to worry about that now late in the year. That's a good beginning yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, Matt Moses, senior out of uh, Fond du Lac St. Mary Springs High School, joins us. Matt, uh, as long as Coach alluded to it, the hip pointer, the, the injury, yeah, we'll how are you, are, are you back to 100%, where are you at? I would say I'm getting there. It, I mean, no excuses, I gotta be ready to play every every time I'm out there. So it's definitely getting better day by day. Right. It's tough for those of us, I, I've never had a hip pointer. What, what's it like? I mean, um, can you give us an yeah, idea well, what that kind of pain is? Um, every movement with your left, like it's more to my left side, so every, every movement I get to my left, 
right away it was bad, but it's getting a lot better, and I'm pretty much getting all the way back to normal. And how are you doing with the role now? You've come up, and, and other people were leaders. We lost, you know, quite a senior class last year, and now you're the person that the youngsters look to. How, how have you taken on that role, and, and how do you go about it, being being the senior leader? Yeah, as a senior, you have to you have to lead by example first off, and you have to be vocal. Um, when I was a freshman, I always looked up to guys like uh, Steve Hicklin and John Crawl. As a sophomore, I mean, Khalif, Brian. Uh, I mean, it, the list keeps going on and on. You always look up to your veterans. So that's why, no matter what, you have to set a positive example right from the beginning. If, if you're down, your team is going to be down. So, I mean, no matter what, we got to stay positive. we got to play through tough stretches like we've had today. Um, we did not get as many stops as we would have liked. And we just got to get it together in practice and really, really buckle down defensively. As you bring the new guys in, Lots of freshmen, sophomores. Uh, uh, talk about molding them to become pointer basketball yeah. players. It's a little different than being at your high school and being the star on a team. Yeah, absolutely. It, at first, you know, everybody comes in and everybody, all the new freshmen, I mean, they're great high school players, and even the transfer. I mean, Dan Tillema, I mean, we all had to just figure it out right away. Uh, first day of practice, I mean, even going back to our preseason workouts, we really had to mold together and just try to you know spend a lot of time together be on the court together and just so we know where the next person will be and I think as the season goes on we're gonna get better at that and uh, I think we've been doing a great job and our guys off the bench are giving us such a spark like I, I'm so happy with our bench um, as, as I've said before a lot of those guys and I, I would almost say all of them would start uh, somewhere else you know I mean the, the sacrifice they make here and they know what they want to do they want to win so far Matt you look over and you got a lot of your best basketball ahead of you, but is there anything that comes to mind as a senior that as you look back in the in your time here that is a, is a particular highlight that, that you really will take I think with uh, you? one of the particular highlights we had was uh, last year against Whitewater. It was a home game. We got down right away in the first half. We, we were down uh, probably at least 10 at halftime, and we had guys out for injuries. Lou was out, Brian was out, and Pete was out. I mean... Brian came back in the game and really helped us win that game, but I think that once we realized that we could all just play together as a team with the with the bench, with with everybody just getting into the game and just realizing that we can do we can still do this. You know, once once you finally just believe in ourselves, I think that that really made a difference. John's asked this question a couple of times during the course of the game, but okay. do you ever wonder what you have to do to get a call? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to get banged around in there for yeah. a while. Maybe you need to make eye contact or, 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 or follow a little yeah, quicker. Yeah, maybe I'll have to. I gotta, finally got to the line tonight after about, it seemed like five games. It seemed like a decade since I've been at the free throw line, but Seriously. I just got to go hard, go hard in there and stay strong, use my fakes. Yep. Seriously, I think sometimes you are so strong that you take some, some bumps that would, would knock people off more, and, <laughs> and it maybe doesn't appear to be a foul, but that's me talking and, and, and the officials can listen to me. But what, what I'd like the fans to know, though, Matt, is a little bit more about you as far as what, where you at at school, what's your major, and you know, you're okay, not going to so be a basketball player forever. So no, where, no, where are you headed? absolutely not. Um, right now I am a uh, senior. I have a business major. I have an econ minor. Um, other than that, you know, just trying to grind out the rest of the semester it's gonna be it's been a tough one so as you get older it seems to get tougher Gen general motors is looking for a ceo are, are you ready yet talk me into it okay. <laughs> well matt uh you get a, a week's worth of practice your next yep. game comes up next week saturday it's a big one. uh and then the holiday break not much of one albeit Correct. uh and then uh, saint thomas uh coming in here and uh, i don't even want to talk about the revenge word it's just another game yep. uh, hopefully uh, you guys continue to play well and then back into the WIAC I, I have to imagine one of the big goals is to put one of those purple and gold banners on the wall behind us here. yeah absolutely absolutely every year I've been here we've been trying to put one up and uh, since I've been here we've gotten a few so we just got to keep it rolling Matt thanks so much thank you guys we headed back to the Holy Land, as I call it. <laughs> no. well, the Holy Land, really, they call it, you well know, up on the ledge. You went to school at yep, the Springs, yep. and you get up onto the east side of Fond du Lac up there. They call it the Holy Land. Got a couple friends right up there. Absolutely. We're from the Holy, there you go. Holy Land there. <laughs> so that's a good support for Fond du Lac. Sounds good. Go. Matt, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay, man. The pointers win it here today.